on their feed to come check us out. I I don't condone this. But it like seems said, grimy to me. But it's pretty grimy. It is but really difficult to stop anybody that's listening to us right now from just going into the Star City, guy, Star City Games live stream and just typing, I found a better stream. Come here, check this out. Gamecore all the way. Yeah, I mean. We have rabid fans. They might do that. but And if you guys do it, look, no love lost. But we're just we're not pushing that. We're not, we're not recommending any of that. Now, Texas, you have to let them know we will strictly not be offending anybody. Right. <laughs> he, uh, an admin for a, a, a page on Facebook. No, I'm aware of it. And uh, <laughs> you know what? Uh, you definitely stick to the name. It's definitely They <laughs> nailed offensive. it because I got to tell you, I have a pretty thick skin. And as much as I love a lot of the stuff they post, there's things on there that, I, that have me just like, no. Yeah. Well, you know, because when you comment on it, all your friends see that you're commenting right. on that kind of a post. So I won't touch that one for my life. <laughs> Mostly because of my wife. <laughs> no rhyme intended. So, all right, so game one, I, I hear Zach Cromey uh, took it with the Demir deck. What kind of was it? Poor plays, poor yeah, land. Uh, yeah, what, I'm sorry, what was it that yeah, I got distracted by? Uh-huh. How exactly did that first game play out again? Do you remember? It's been decked out. Or the, the oh, Consuming the Aberration was on the board. Oh, that card yeah, is so it, bonkers. I mean, Really, Chromie again, just taking the Demir to the house. the next level Demir play right here is like what we're looking at. Uh, well, consuming aberration, by the way, I also had that because it was a guild pack. The Demir. Mm -hmm. That card is quite unfair. Like it is as big as the cards in the graveyard, not the mm -hmm. creatures, not the whatever. There's a lot of cards in people's graveyards, <laughs> yeah. uh, especially like if you can pick up a mind grind too. Like we've seen. Yes. We saw, I think Matt Matt Bates holding his original draft pool might have had both of those those cards he definitely had the mind grind i like mind grind but if it doesn't finish them it's sometimes it's just not i, want, I just feel like i want to draft esper mill every time i play this set really all the basilica guards holy mantles whatever oh, oh and he devour flesh is sure not a land but discard two cards and extort that's certainly going to happen uh, so there will be a one one point life total swing in each direction here and um, so, how do you feel about cards like that in general? I've never been like a mind rot in limited kind of a guy. Honestly, Lightning, sure. <laughs> I think it's a little misdirected here in, in in Tundo's deck. The reason I don't mind it in this case is because it's a burn spell. Right. Like he just dealt three damage to his opponent with it, and he's a fairly aggressive Orzhov deck. So I don't mind the fact that he's able to with extort. Uh, <laughs> Tundo with the thumbs up again. Uh, <laughs> he's got to use that pointer finger. But, uh, yeah, definitely uh, a card that gets more valuable when you're, you're being aggressive and, and trying to burn your opponent some. Um, did not get much value from it there, I don't think, as we have two copies of this mystery card from uh, Mr. Chromie here. So is you know, that a I think Basilica Screecher? Extort trigger there too? Yes, that is a Basilica Screecher two, times two. Is there an Extort trigger there? Um, uh, yes. He's got three, three mana, mana tapped. tapped. Yeah. Yep. And, and a Basilica Guard. So. With an Extort back. So. Yes. You, know, I'm, you know what I'm noticing here is I'm looking at Leland's screen, and it is much better looking than this giant monitor that we're looking yeah, at. Yeah, we need to spend some time all of us together, like the whole production team, I think, and really um, mess with every setting. And I, I think resolutions got a lot better. When I started, it uh, looks like, yeah, it looks going like to going to game three, Tundo uh, gets the aggressive start here. Um, we're going to get our life call caller back in here. I'm going to go. Well, uh, it looked like also Zach had no blue mana. And I yes. seen at least he had two blue flyers in his hand. Yes. Uh, So did he, you know, I feel like that, that Cypher card that taps something down is quite brutal. Especially brutal, and I don't know if you know this or not, but there's a, car, a, a deck in your top eight right now with three of them. <laughs> and it's not Zach. No. Uh, it must be Jeremy Rowe then. <laughs> I thought that's who we were watching. I started looking at the deck list and I was like, <laughs> That's interesting for sure. All right, well, so they're going to game three here. Um, Did you win your seal? Or 
the second round, Jason Lux and them are slow. Did you? Jason Lux. Jason Lux just won. All right, well, uh, I'm going to give you back to James. My tournament's second round is going. Wish me luck, but I don't need it. I didn't say that. Nobody heard it. <laughs> Yeah, we've seen it a few times today. All right. John had to leave and uh, go do his sealed, which he pulled the absolute nuts in. I don't think it could get better than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The seal deck is insane. As far as why it looks nicer now, I, I did some playing with the... Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did some playing with the resolutions and uh, color values here, and for whatever reason, it does, I mean, it looked a lot better when we started uh, in round one, I feel like, even than it is now, but... Yep, John had to, to dip out, unfortunately. He's, uh, as we said, currently interacting with his customers and uh, turning some magic cards sideways here. He's got quite the ridiculous uh, sealed pool going on right now, playing Gruel Colors. Did he show it to you? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> All right. Well, we're watching them shuffle up here. Um, you guys, if you have any... Uh, questions at all to ask our, our judge judge blaine a level two from uh the buffalo new york area who uh, drove up with me actually to uh, attend this event uh, if you have any questions for him please uh let's build him up i don't want to bring him on right right now he's currently obviously busy um, keeping track over these top fours and, and we're more than happy to bring him in between rounds um, if you have any questions for him, uh, please just go ahead and put them in chat. And once we know we got a, f a few built up, if we don't get to yours, feel free to repeat it uh, once he's physically here. But uh, I just want to make sure we have a couple saved up for him and ready to go. So they're taking a look at their opening hands. Uh, let's see. And uh, to give people an update... Uh, I actually don't. I don't have an update on the other match. I apologize. Okay. I, I feel well. It looks like a screecher from Zach Cromie. Yes, I feel at a disadvantage because uh, I don't know what emeritus status is. Judge. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, when is Judge Blaine going to be emeritus status? I just oh. don't know. I thought you said marital. I was like, really? I don't know what that. Okay. <laughs> All oh, right. Oh, he's single so, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Chromie drew that for the turn. So, playing a sprite, and he's going to extort, extort it. Trigger. So that'll be twenty-one to nineteen. 19. And uh, in response to the casting of the spell, uh, devour flesh will happen. So uh, it's going to be still going to be an extort yep. trigger. Uh, there will still be the. Ex or yep. Yep. The there will still be the extort trigger that gets yeah. paid for. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because um, two life from the, the sprite. Yep. You're right. We just hadn't quite gotten there yet. We were still... Uh, or, no, because... Yeah, the, he gains two life off the Devour Flesh. The devi yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, was. Yeah. When the sprite bit it. Oh, wasn't the sprite. It was the Basilisk creature. Yep. You know what I mean. Unfortunately for Tondo. Well, it could be good, but... Looks like he's going to get in here for two. Moving that island. He's, he's yep. Yep, playing with it. There we go. 17 to 23 of the life totals here. You don't have to do that every time. Attacks we're okay with. Just yeah. every now and then give us an Just, update. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not every time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, looks like he's playing a Court Street. No. Not Court Street. Might be the might execution be the of swings, so he's. Uh, Maybe a spell rupture? Yeah, yeah I think yeah, that's it's the a spell rupture. Spell. Yep. All right. So that's going to get countered. And then what's the drawback there? The turn. What, what else happens with spell rupture? Um, Exile no. 2 or? No, I don't think there is one. It's just like pay X or something like that. I don't know. Is that a whispering madness in his hand? Or I don't know what that is. Demir Charm? Demir Charm, I Demir believe, Charm? yeah. Yeah. Well, we're gonna yeah, he has two Demir Charms. So battle with the Sprite. Possibility. Can't imagine Tondo makes a trade here. Nope, yeah. just All takes right, two, so drops takes to 15. Two, 15. 
And let's see. It's like he's going to play the blue Denzine or whatever. It's is, is that the blue Denzine in there? Yeah. It's going to melt on no two every time a blue creature comes into play. Probably not going to be as relevant this game. Yeah, probably not. It wasn't, uh, wasn't super impactful before, but it also doesn't look like this Demir deck is really aimed mm -hmm. at the mill uh, strategy. So Sage's Road Denzine. Yeah, he, didn't, uh, he decided not to include Whispering Madness in his deck, even though he drafted it, so... Um, probably a fairly decent idea. Yeah. All right, so we're uh, seven viewers away from giving away a gift card here. Getting there. All right, so Chrome is going to attack for three. You're going to see a block here. I don't, I don't see why not. Um, I think he maybe wants to get the damage in for some reason. What does the, the Griffin cost? Three or four? Four. Four, okay. Um, I thought maybe it was like an... Oh, okay, smiting. He's smiting him. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, but he will take two, drop to 13. Mm -hmm. And uh, Demir That's Charm... That's doing work. Yeah, Demir Charm not able to kill an Assault Griffin here. Sure to be... Uh, That's a big booty for it. Yeah. It's the, uh, it's the front, though, that gets him here. Keeps it, keeps it from being yeah. a little target. Yeah. Looks like he just has a uh, Swamp Island Demir See, Charm. I'm wondering what Zach's waiting the, for to do with this charm. He drew the Aberration for the turn, so that's going to be relevant. Tunda with a Devour Flesh in hand, so we'll... Oh, okay. Hmm. See, that looks like it's going to cost him a Sprite, but... Yep. That's okay. Yeah. Did we get miss an attack for three from that Griffin here? Oh, I believe so. And, and there's the Devour Flesh. Gonna gain two. And consuming aberration hits the board. It's gonna be a problem for Tundo. Four currently a four four. But, uh, thank you thank you, Zach, for helping us out with a, a die there. <laughs> um so it looks like Tundo's got Tundo does gift. have a gift. removal. So four that, three. That gift's gonna yeah. That's going nice. to do some work. Oh, yeah. um, Kirby can't and really did I see turn. Zach with two lands in hand? So not even fixing to get a yeah, he has two lands consuming and a aberration charm. trigger? Oh, oh the Demir charm still The Demir there? charm okay. can uh, pump the aberration too at least. So. Good. We needed that. What's the total? What's, what's the, the Griffin? 4-3. Uh, yeah, Griffin's a 4-3. Okay. Right. So 4-3 okay. so four, three now. Okay. Yeah. So what's so life? What's life after the lifeline? It's seventeen. Okay. okay. Yep. In favor of not <laughs> so eighteen to seventeen for Zach, and uh, we're gonna get a mill here off the consuming aberration. Looks like it hit exactly one card, um, which means that was a land. Looks like there's no blocks here either, so it's uh what, five damage. Yep. So tundra to twelve. Planning on doing some life gain to counteract things. And uh, Court Street Denzian in his hand. I think he got a couple of those in his deck. He, yeah, just a couple. Three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got three. <laughs> uh, it was quite quite silly how the, the drafting worked out there for him. Um, getting three of those is just... Yeah. Even though he's more of a mid-range. Okay, so... Uh, 16 life for Vince Tundo, 14 life for Zach. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's going to Demir Charm his uh, Denzian. Yep. And get a trigger off of Consuming Aberration. No, what's that card? Tundo's hand. Aerial Maneuver? Aerial yep. Maneuver! It's Aerial Maneuver. So that doesn't die. Thank Tundo. you very much. Uh, oh, whoa, wait Evading a minute. Evading Demir Charm. Um. Blaine. He boarded. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. <laughs> they, they weren't. They weren't his main board, but they were. Uh, there were two in his in Tundo's pool, oh, so right. he boarded them in. It's weird. I don't oh, feel like that's good enough to main. Demir charm number. It usually would be, but he was mm -hmm. busy making sure he can play all three court Denzians. <laughs> 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 Apparently. Um, well, he has a cartel aristocrat. I think I'd rather have a. 
I re on the new poo over that. Uh, Aristocrat actually did a lot of work for him in the last round. Did uh, it? Wow, okay. So. All right. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's like 12 counters on the collaboration. <laughs> Tundo Falls. And the game goes to Zach Cromie. Uh, I don't know what, what happened. What game was that? Three? Two? Two? Three? Three? I'm just going to shut up. Three? Three. All right. Okay, so, so Zach Cromie takes yep. it with his. That'll, that'll end the round.